Come on, come on, come on! Oh, oh. I just can't concentrate with that. I'm just not getting the hang of this. Sounds like you need a boost. I do. Have you got anything in mind? I do, actually. Have a flick of this. Music mode? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, five, six. I've got a seven kill streak. <laughs> We've won the game. Come on, it's still going. Yay! <laughs> won the game. <laughs> <laughs> won the game. <laughs> Hello there guys, <laughs> and of course, welcome back into yet again another one of us review bros. My name's Aaron. Craig. And today we are joined on something a little bit different. It's a gaming supplement. We're gonna be using it for a bit of gaming, but also of course a pre-workout stance because guess what? A lot of the ingredients actually match up. Gonna go for it like we normally do, however, taste, price, label, and effects. Is it gonna be something they pick up? I don't know, let's find out. As we as you've probably seen, it's in the thumbnail anyway. Ninja mode, their gaming offering. Is it potent stuff? That's what we're gonna find out. Okay, please do like this video, drop your comments below, subscribe to the channel, help us out, and we'll keep helping you out with free honest reviews per week. Let's get into this one. What can it do for you? And we're into that world famous taste and mixability. And how is the flavor gonna to come together in this one? Because it's a gaming formula, it's, we're gonna expect it to taste a bit better than pre-workouts because it's more of a casual, wider audience, arguably type supplement. But anyway, the flavor we've got for this one is Vice City. Yeah, it comes in two other flavors, Combat Cherry and Shinobi Sherbet. So, who knows? What is Vice City supposed to be again? It looks like an amalgamation of uh, peaches and oranges. Yeah, and it does look like that in the glasses there. Mixability. Considering it's only a seven grammer, it's not the best. Mm. It's only seven grams, isn't it? Yeah. Tiny scoop. That's what she said. Anyway, Vice City going down. Coconut back end. A bit sour. Really? You find that really sour? I did. It's all right. Yeah, I like it more than I thought I'd like it, to be honest. You can taste peaches, coconuts, yeah. oranges, apricots. Mm, yeah, <laughs> it definitely does taste Vice City-esque. Yeah, it's like a blended orange shake with other fruits in it. I mean, not shocking, is it? No, no, is this the flavor you've chosen though, or? Probably the sherbet one if I had the choice. Yeah, same. But, I've got a score in mind. Yeah. Three, two, one, seven point five. Oh really? Mm. I guess I'm more partial to a, a Vice City than you. Yeah. Vice City? Yeah. GTA. I like it. I, I'm trying to think, because as a gaming supplement, you're going to be not necessarily down it like a pre-workout. Don't get me wrong, you need the ingredients to do your gaming, and you kind of do need to do that, but I can imagine a lot of people would sip on it like yeah. a monster. Or like G drink. Fuel, those kind yeah. of like sneak. Whereas really you need to down it. You need to do it like a pre. Mm. 30 minutes later, get gaming. Like it's, it should be the same sort of setup. But I yeah. can imagine a lot of people wouldn't do that. Mm. Let us know in the comments below if you ever use any of these gaming subs and what you do with them. But yeah, eight out of 10 on the flavor. It's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, and the other ones are probably nicer. We would hope. To us. Let's get into the price. Right, we're into price time, and how much is this premium gaming supplement gonna set you back? Well, you'll head over to ninjaup.com where you can use discount code LEVELUP, knocks off 10%, you can pick it up for $43.19, 25 servings, right? Absolutely, guys, and um, if you're wondering, price per serving would be $1.72. UK, guys, for the sake of a pure translation across, it will cost us £1.43 Great British Sterling. We have a consistent scale for pre-workouts. Difficult when it concerns gaming. Five out of 10 is bang average. This one actually slips in nicely at a six out of 10. So 
I get it, I get it. It's not a pre-workout, but ultimately the ingredients are all pre-workout ingredients. So it's cheaper than a pre-workout average, just. Mm. So we've, we've been speaking quickly before this and um, compared to other gaming products, this is a high stim gaming product compared to like Sneak, G Fuel, they're, they're pathetic. Yeah, this is what you would call a premium one for your serious gamers. But this is more expensive than mm. those, even though they're not very good. The Sneak would probably come in at like an 8.5 out of 10, so very cheap, yeah. but you're getting a lot less. I don't know, like this is so discretionary. We've got our pre-workout goggles on. I still think for a gaming product, I want something in the eight out of 10 range, nine out of 10 range, because I, I don't know, I just do. Compared to a pre-workout, I just think it should be cheaper than the pre-workout category. And to get a six out of 10, I still think it's quite expensive. Hard to say, only one thing will determine that price point and whether it's worth it. Yeah, the effects and the label. Let's get into those now, but drop your thoughts down below. Would you pay six out of 10 for a pre-workout scale for a gaming supplement? Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into this label then. So what are we getting in this packed out nootropic formula? So one scoop is seven grams. We've got five calories per serving, so be careful if you're on a diet. Yeah, weight going up on that. Indeed, we've got some B vitamins at the top, nothing too, you know, fancy pants. General bodily function, energy production. We'll take it. Then we're moving to the first proper blend, Ninja's Infinite Energy Matrix, Caffeine and Hydra's 250. Which is high for a gaming supplement, I think. That's like pre coming on pre-workout levels. Two and a half cups worth of coffee, a strong energy drink, guys. Obviously, stimulation and energy right there. Yeah, going to wake you up. Then we've got Mephiliberine as Dynamine, trademarked ingredient 150. Nice. Again, another stimulant that doesn't raise blood pressure or heart rate, so it's good while you're sitting there calmly gaming. You don't want the heart rate too high, do you? But it's a long lasting energy source, guys. Okay, up to five hours, so. Ooh, saucy. Keep going. Speaking of long lasting, we've got di-caffeine malate, 100 milligrams, which means we've got 75 extra caffeine. Yeah, it's a little bit extra. So again, topping it up actually into the pre-workout realm now, guys. A lot of caffeine for a, a sitting still gaming session. Yeah, a stationary activity. You could argue. Mm. Now when the caffeine anhydrous just wears off, the caffeine malate starts to digest and take its place and you don't slump down in your seat whilst the game continues to be played. Yeah, so as you're going to get tired from the anhydrous, that'll wake you up again and then you'll start killing All night noobs long. again. <laughs> then we've got um, isoprop norsinephrine, 20 milligrams. God, this is high skin for a gaming supplement. You see that in your pre's, guys, for high energy. The farther to senephrine, the fat burner obviously comes in the form of energy as well, okay? Yeah, we'll take that on board. Then we've got Ninja, Laser Focus and Anti-Crash Matrix. Oh, Anti-Crash. Anti-Crash, even though you could argue, oh, I don't know, yeah. they all kind of tie in, didn't they? Yeah, exactly. We've got L-Tyrosine at a gram. Good dose, amino acid responsible for cognition and clarity. Taurine, gram. Hydration, electrolyte balance, also some concentration benefits. Choline Bitartrate, gram. Respectable dose, choline type, again, more focus and clarity. Nice, we're not a big fan of that type, but it doesn't matter because we've got alpha GPC at 400 milligrams. Is that got a yield or is that? Yeah, so actual half of that is actual choline, 200. Mm, bit low, bit low, but again, for a gaming supplement, maybe not. Bit low if it was a pre, only just. More choline, more focus, more clarity. Yeah, nice. Then we've got, oh, even more. We've got Cognizant, a registered form of City Choline 250. That's Nice, fantastic. that ties it up. So you forget that low dose of Alpha GPC because the free choline types together will really wake your brain up, you know, synapses folk function in the zone. Exactly, you're gonna have all three of those cholines walloping your brain from different angles. It's not gonna know what's coming no, out. you're gonna be playing every corner of the screen. <laughs> then we've got ourselves L-theanine 150. Yeah, respectable, anti-crash, you could argue, some focus concentration element come from it, and anti-crash mainly. Yeah, lovely. Not too high of a dose that it's gonna counteract and put you to sleep. Yeah, that's the important thing. Then we've got focus factor, cough, Coffee Arabica fruit extract, 100 milligrams. Nice, stimulant, but also gives you the brain stimulants. So yeah, it's gonna tie in nicely with the other focus ingredients here to get you in that zone. Wakey, wakey time. Then we've got N-methyltyramine HCL, 30 milligrams. Yeah, another harsh stim, guys, that you see in your pre's, albeit a bit of a lower dose than we typically see. Normally see about 75 milligrams to 100 milligrams, but hey, dirty stim, focus, heart rate up, you know, energy time. Yeah, sense of urgency, adrenaline through the roof. Then we've got Hoobazine A, 30 micrograms. Really? That's 
That's quite low, isn't it? Normally it is we see 300 low. micrograms. Yeah. I and don't know if that's a spelling issue. Who knows, but concentration, dub the learning chemical, you know, getting in the zone a bit more. We'll take it. And then we move down to Ninja's absorption and hydration matrix, coconut water powder, 500 milligrams. Nice, respectable, again, electrolyte balance, gonna work with the taurine and give you some more hydration benefit. Lovely, then we've got astrogen at 50 milligrams. Digestion and absorption processes begin. Lovely, that is the full label then, guys. So as Aaron mentioned earlier, it's ticking those boxes that it's offering in the focus, energy and hydration. Yeah, no pumps. I really wanted to get pumped playing my gaming. Mm. But but you know what? Considering what it is, it's a high, I call it a very high stimulant gaming product. Yeah. That'll probably translate into an average energy level pre-workout. Yeah. Who knows? That's what we're getting into now. Okay guys, effects time. In the real world of this product, it's Ninja Mode by the guys at Ninja Up Supplements. We've got them to thank for sending it on down. Bloody, bloody, bloody. How does this one work in the real world? Now we've uh, come to a conclusion with this one where we've used it a little bit for gaming and as a pre-workout because why not? We're gonna talk about both elements. I mean, I think some people might potentially buy this for a pre-workout, we'll explain why, and we can understand some benefits for gaming too. It's definitely a stim junkie gaming product. It's not a stim junkie pre-workout as such, is it? No, yeah, what we've said is, if you're sneaking your G Fuel as your daily driver gaming supplements, this is your stim junkie gaming supplement that you would take for the hardcore tournaments all night as you know where you really need to make sure you're in the zone yeah definitely so we definitely felt some nice in flushing straight away which is kind of like a paraphysia beta alanine like feel like a bit of tingling a bit of flushing, a bit of flushing. yeah the nice in flush and i'm not surprised actually because we kind of skipped over it in the label you get 30 milligrams per serving 188% of your daily value. So you do feel it. You feel that sense of central heating, almost like your body's ramping up, raring to go. Your heart rate starts to go up, doesn't it? I'd yeah, argue. sweat town, definitely. And also on that same note of sweat town, obviously you've got a couple of stimulants in there that are gonna get you revved up in the form of the isopropyl norepinephrine and the NMT. They're known for sort of revving you up and getting, you, getting a bit of a sweat on. Yeah, so obviously we started off, took the product, Whilst it kicked in before the gym, we did spend a bit longer on gaming than the normal pre-workout kick-in time, so we did a little bit of COD Warzone. It definitely wakes you up, this stuff. It is like a, a strong monster energy, isn't it? Well, yeah. It's stronger than that, really, definitely. to be honest with you. Let's be honest. We're looking at quite a lot of caffeine content for what as it much is. as a pre-workout for gaming. It's very smooth though, and like we touched on earlier, you could get away with easily doing half a serve, three quarter serve to prolong that price point or get a more casual, usable amount of energy from it. 100%. If it was me, and you actually wanted this for gaming or you know doing work at work or anything nootropic like, you could easily get away with just half a scoop mm. because the caffeine's the primary driver of this sort of thing and you'd still be getting 175 milligrams of overall caffeine, you know, and then the isoprop on top, the dynamine, the NM, uh, N-methyltyramine. So we're talking some hard stims in that, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, so even at half a scoop, you're still out doing most energy drinks, right? Yeah, for sitting down, letting it kick in, letting the focus come over you, and that's what definitely does. The focus is quite apparent. For me, actually, on a full scoop, I get, and it is so mild, guys. It, I can't even, I wouldn't even downrate the product for this, but you can tell there's a lot going on in the brain that it gives me a slight, guys, I've got to emphasize again how small it is, like a 2% headache. Because, really? Yeah, because it's so on the brain. Look how many stuff, how much there is for brain activity. And it does make you really thirsty as well, yeah, in training we especially. Dry mouth, even just drinking the actual drink itself, it has kind of a dry consistency to it, and that does carry through into 
post drinking the supplement and you need to keep drinking but i guess as a side effect you get more hydrated so yeah and i think that's due to the chalky um alpha g well the choline types and the coconut water powder i think um they just definitely definitely so much more noticeable as a pre-workout you get thirsty on it focus is at the very least a 9.5 five out of ten i'd give it it's definitely the carrying point without a shadow of a doubt you know it's achieving what it's what it's setting out to do and focus is what you buy it for at the end of the day and the energy isn't too far behind i'd still say above average energy i would actually but even not crazy. compared to a pro well if you look at the numbers guys they don't lie it's pre it's a pre-workout yeah we've said it feels like a strong daily it's obviously not quite edging into steam junkie town but it's certainly no above we'll do the math daily. so it's like three two five caffeine Plus the, again, I'm saying it again, plus the N-methyltyramine, plus the isoprop norsenephrine, plus the dynamine. Plus the dynamine. Ill, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not messing around. In a pre-workout as an energy complex, you'd be very happy with that. It's not a slouch, no, not at all. So from a gaming point, that's why as a gaming supplement, if I was to sit here and just do gaming on a full serve, it would... It would be too much. Yeah, it is worth noting that there is no jitters or unhealthiness to it, so it's not so strong that you're like, <clears throat> like having panic attacks trying to play, unless you're super caffeine sensitive. Also, we yeah. appreciate the fact, we like beta aniline, but we understand why they wouldn't put it in this, because you don't want to be trying to play and itch in your head every no, five seconds. No, same with pumps, they're not there. You do get mm. the mind-to-muscle connection, because you're in, you're in the zone, you're in the body, you're in the muscle cell. Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom. Wolf pump. Yeah, so if you want to buy it as a pre-workout gaming supplement hybrid, you will be sacrificing that pump element. I would, yeah. This is the thing. Now, who's it for? Gamers, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, obviously. <laughs> but unless you're seriously susceptible to some of the stims, I don't think you'll need a full scoop if you're using mm. it primarily for gaming. It's a new tropic that could be used for work. I think they're limiting themselves by saying it's gaming formula, but I understand also it's got its own niche yeah, market they want to break that, into that so i get it it's one of the strongest if not in fact i can't think of another one that's solely for gaming mm. that's a nootropic product we've got to do strongest universal one. soldier still um is so. that classed as an actual gaming one though? i think it is in the realm of that yeah not necessarily specific for gaming but i think it can be used in that route yeah because i think they also argue nootropic mm. whereas this one isn't even saying anything about nootropic mm. and so i've just Strictly, I mean, it says gaming all over it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's all about gaming, but you could use this for so much more than just gaming. Mm. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. You could buy it, use it as a pre on full scoop, you maybe half serve it for using it for gaming, you for get, studying, work. getting into work, take yeah. a scoop of it, you'll be set for the day. The focus is very apparent for you know, we used it what three hours ago. I'm still, I still mm. feel. My body's tired, I am worn out, but my brain is still ticking. Mm. My eyes are open. I think it's solid. <laughs> I don't really know. It's difficult because do we rate it as a gaming product? That's what it is. Because if it's a gaming product, it gets a 10 out of 10. Yeah. If it's a pre, it probably gets like a 7 out of 10 still. Very, yeah. very nice. Mm. Do you see what I'm? Do you see what we're saying? We're in a predicament here. Yeah, there's also no negatives to it really, other than the fact it makes you more thirsty, which is that really a negative? It's really just thirsty. Worth I've done a litre of water training and I'm still thirsty. Yeah. Yeah, so no, no negatives to it. Um, the price point isn't horrific to be honest with you, especially considering it is definitely one of the more stacked gaming supplements on the market. I think they could argue that price point. I could use it for a good leg day, powerlifting comp where you don't want to get a pump. Mm. MMA fighters, runners, cardio, very good probably for that as well because you're not getting pumps. You're mm. getting nice stims, nice focus. There are a lot of strengths to this product, more so than I would ever have thought looking at it as a gaming product. Yeah, the label actually surprised us because we picked it, obviously we used it a few times. Before we used it, we were just not expecting much. So we were like, bloody hell, this thing's stacked actually. Yeah, my brain is really up there with the focus. The focus is by far the standout point. Mm. I'd give the focus, like I say, at least a 9.5. And that's, that's classing it as a pre-workout. I can only imagine if I actually took this as a gaming supplement at a full dose and just sat and did gaming, I'd be, you know, yeah, gunning down yeah. Every, every, you know, you'd be all, you'd be all over the place, but 
very focused, like 10 out of 10 focused. Yeah, and having said that, when we did play Warzone with it, it was noticeably, we was more switched on, more alert, more into the game. We weren't as sort of slow to react or sleepy or disinterested as you can be if you've had a long day. So we was more in the zone. Yeah. Warzone. 10 out of 10 gaming product. 7.5 to 8 pre-workout product. 9 out of, 9.5 out of 10 nootropic going to work and studying etc so a hybrid yeah it's, it's a hybrid product that's limiting itself a little bit with the label and, and uh, marketing but I understand why blah 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 I think we should wrap up yeah I think we've covered it all but let us know if there's anything else you want to know in the comments obviously we'll answer you guys appreciate you watching from home and of course as always stay focused and gaming game time game on <laughs>